After the National Communications Authority announced the rerouting of outgoing calls, the blocking of calls and data of unregistered numbers last Sunday, the authority has revealed that the registration on the self-service app has so far had about 10,000 subscribers. What we have now is a fact that we could have actually had a lot more than 10,000 registrations on the app. For starters, not, not everyone has a smartphone, so not everyone can actually use the app to register. As a matter of fact, a number of our people out there do not have smartphones. They have just the, what we call the YAM phones or, or, or future phones. These are phones that do not do internet, so they can't use the app. Um, so I don't want to attribute it to the fact that the app is there. Even though the app, since we launched, we've done about 10,000 or so registrations on the app. Uh, we've, we've had about 50,000 or so downloads of the app and about 10,000 registrations on the app. So that's quite encouraging. But I don't think that people, the app is the reason why people are not showing up at the various telcos. It gets the habit that we have. I mean, from the numbers I, I gave you, each time there's an extension, everyone just lays back until they realize that it's a week to go. That's why we, 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 we keep saying that, look, go have your SIMs registered, especially those who have done stage one and not stage two. So interestingly, as of 25th of, of, of August, we had about 64% or so having done stage one, but only about 42 having done stage two. These are folks who got accounts already. So why haven't they used the app to finish their registration? Why have they not seen any of the agents of the MNOs or have they not worked to any, any of the telcos uh, customer care centers to complete? Indeed, when City News visited some registration centers like the Elwak Sports Stadium, which used to be a busy spot for the SIM re-registration process, there was little or less activity. Some of the registrants attributed the delay in re-registering their SIM cards to their inability to get their Ghana cards. Okay, for the SIM registration, I think I spent less than five minutes. Yes. And wow. So, so and, and I mean, the NCA has been announcing this for months get your sim re-registered why have you waited so long to get it done to today okay so like i said my card wasn't ready because um, there was no card so i was given a date to come and check so as i came in today it was ready so once i get my card i thought it's wise to register the sim card immediately because as per nca directive i think if you haven't registered your sim you might even have some technical challenge when you're making phone calls so i thought they need to register the sim card as soon as possible that's how i i actually i came here to continue with my ghana card and you know i was in the process i couldn't finish so i came to continue and god being so good i've received it so i'm here again to register my sim card okay yeah i mean why did it take you so long to get your um, sim card registration done well um i i came here that was three months ago to take my ghana card but it wasn't like I didn't complete the process, so they asked me to come here again today. Okay, so, so that is so why. The, the reason why you were not able to re-register your SIM was because the Ghana yes. card delay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's okay. yeah, the Ghana card delay. Okay, I think a lot of people have this problem. The Ghana card <laughs> issue was that's why they are not being able to re-register. You think that that that's the actual problem, or well, Ghanaians generally don't want to? No, not Ghanaians. That's the problem. They are, they, they are having problem with their machines and whatever. Yeah. So you so, think that if that is solved, everybody yes. can be able to yeah. register? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. The NCA, while hammering on the need for the public to re-register, said it is poised on taking further punitive actions if individuals fail to heed to the cause. There are people who were in the queue when the, the minister announced that, okay, you have two months to, to register. They left the queues and went home. They've, they've, they've not returned back to register. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we are seeing in the market. But I believe that, yes, part of the consumer behavior that we are seeing. So hopefully people would realize that we are, we've been business. Because now, if you are blocking people for not regist registering, when we tell you that we are going to take you off the network from 1st October, you should mm -hmm. know that that can happen. And indeed, it will happen. Also, the authority clarified allegations by subscribers that they are being charged twice the stipulated amount for using the app. As I speak to you now, as far as we are concerned, and indeed we have a, a call center where people actually call in and say, look, guys, I've been charged twice instead of, instead of once. Some say three times, some say four times. So at the back end, we do the investigation, and whenever we find that somebody has been, that has been charged twice for the same service, mm -hmm. refunds are made to those people. But this, this, this was going on. So someone is registering, 
he encounters a bit of a challenge, maybe uh, network challenges or, or whatever it says, then they, they restart the registration. Now, as far as the system is concerned, you have a pending payment that, has, that hasn't been used yet. Mm. So when you have the chance to check your status of your payment, ideally check and see whether the, pay, the payment has been, has been used up or not. But people would then tend to reset. So what the team has done going forward is that there's only one option that you have, not to reset, but to check, check on your payment. So once you check on the payment, you realize that no payment is still pending, then use that to register. So hopefully all of this would, would be a thing of the past. But as I said before, only about 40 or so people have the issues of uh, uh, irregularity with their payments and uh, a number of them have been paid. The rest, of course, will also be, also be paid uh, in the course of this week. Okay.